Hey guys, Jared here with Heat Press Nation. Today we're going to show you a brand new feature that comes with Silhouette Studio version 4 and that's going to be the trace by color. So if you look at our screen here, we've already loaded in our graphic from our library uh, and the first thing you're going to notice is that everything it looks all different, everything's brand new. The cool thing about Silhouette Studio version 4 is that now for example, we're going to go to our trace tool. Now all the tools, instead of being up here, they move to the side. And when you click on each different tool, a different module is going to pop up. So you can have uh, it's just a little bit more organized, a lot easier to control your settings. So let's get right to it. So now you'll notice here it's going to open up the trace feature. You can still trace the old-fashioned way. You're going to select trace area, as you as you know. And if we wanted to trace these sunglasses, that'd be pretty hard because the sunglasses, as you can see, we have a three color image here. Now, what if I wanted to trace all three different layers? Well, with the previous version of Silhouette Studio, we only had the basic trace tool. And no matter what you do, you know, you, you, you adjust your settings. Let's we could try the high pass, the low pass. It'd be very difficult uh, to actually get a trace of all three layers. So that's why the new trace by color feature is very awesome. Uh, very helpful too. So what you're going to want to do is we're still going to select our trace area. Then we're going to go over to trace by color. And you're just going to click on trace by color. You're going to go over here and we're actually going to click to get the eyedrop tool and it's going to sample the color that we want to trace. So since we clicked the green area, now it's selected all of the green. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so we can get a better look at what we're doing here. There we go. So now, what if, so we can have the option to do a solid fill. We could just trace the outline. Um, and we, you can adjust the threshold right here if you want it a little bit finer, a little bit looser. It's up to you, whatever you're going to want to do. So now, now that we've had it, we can uh, click trace. And if we move our image out of the way, we see that we got a trace of the green. So now, and I just did a control Z there. Uh, so now what we can do is if we wanted to trace the inside of the glasses, we'll go back to select trace area. I'm going to draw it around here. And now it's automatically selecting the black of the glasses just because that's, you know, since we're using the old fashioned trace, um, that's what it's going to do. It's going to go to the darkest color there. If we go back to trace by color, we can do two things. We can, we can keep it selected on the black there, or if you wanted to trace by color on the white of the glasses, we would, of course, we clicked our trace by color tool and we're going to select the white of the glasses. We're going to go to single area. Now, that's another cool thing. You can select single area or all areas. We're going to select single area and now we have drawn around the glasses. You can adjust it, uh, the tolerance right here. Of course, go too far, you're not going to have anything. And that seems about right. Go ahead and click trace. And now we've traced the glasses. So we move our item out of the way. Now I kind of doubled up on there, so that's my mistake. But as you can see here, we have two separate, there we go. So we have the glasses here and there. And you can really do this. We can do this with any of these here. For example, let's try this beach, for example. This would be impossible to trace each item individually the old with the old way, but now that we have trace by color. Let's go ahead and let's, we're going to select the red of the umbrella first. Trace that. Uh, now, if we want, now you can go color by color, and this is great if you have a logo. If somebody you know submits to you um, a JPEG file or you know something that's not already vectorized that has multiple colors on it, you can you can trace all the different colors on their logo, uh, whereas before it would be virtually impossible to do. You'd have to pre-separate them in Photoshop uh, or Illustrator or something like that. So we're going to trace by color. Now we're going to get the white single area. There we go. And so there's a lot of ways you can do this. Now if we went all areas, we could probably just adjust the tolerance here just to get the white. Nope. We could probably cut that out. And there you go. We're going to click trace, move this out of the way, and you'll see here how we go one by one with each layer. We can trace out this entire image. Okay, well, there you go. 
If you have any other questions, feel free to comment below, or you can reach us at 800-215-0894 or on our website, www.heatpressnation.com. Also, we'd love to see what you're working on, so please feel free to tag us using the hashtag HPN Creators. Thank you so much.